Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. What, a, what an exciting introduction. I have no idea what you guys are up to these days in golf tournaments. Awesome. And thank you for inviting us today. We are really appreciative and we will jump right into showing what Girl Expense does for our customers and our prospects. So welcome. I first want to introduce myself. My name is Kathleen Forsyth and I am the director of channels for Gorilla Expense. And with me is my colleague, Mahesh Raiwad, who is head of sales. And he's actually gonna be showing us the product further down once I get past talking a little bit about what it is that we do. Hello, Mahesh. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Kathleen. All right, let's get this party started. So uh, what we are going to do briefly is I'm going to talk a little bit about us and who it is that we serve because it's a wider customer than just the person filling out an expense report and getting their expense reports in. It turns out it's a bigger deal and we've addressed that with our customers. We'll look at the solution overview and into the application demo. So a little bit about us. We're very experienced in this space. We've been at it for 11 years. We have thousands of customers around the world and they give us feedback, the market gives us feedback. We are proud of being best of breed in our product and economical for our customers to own. That's something I always want to say. Our mission is to become the de facto spend management solution that provides panoramic visibility. Kind of a mouthful, I'll talk about it more when I get to our stakeholders. Industry recognition, we've had lots of recognition from around the United States, actually. Um, these companies have endorsed us, GetApp as a category leader, and Software Advice as a front runner. These are um, websites that you can go to and see what actual customers are saying about products. And ours is um, just really well reviewed and we're very proud of these awards. And plus with CIO Magazine, they have shown us as one of the 10 most promising Microsoft Dynamics pr providers. And the reason that we're really happy about these and what reason I bring them up is kind of a social proof is to just give you some comfort that you are aligning yourself with the best of breed and one of the best companies in the expense management space. So actually we have two uh, pieces to our expense management product line. Uh, our Gorilla Expense product line is expense management. And then we have a timesheet solution too for projects and jobs in Microsoft Dynamics. Not a lot of people know about that. And we're seeing a lot of interest in it coming forward, particularly that since we integrate into the, into the various ERPs. The uh, reason I'm showing you this is to show you the breadth and depth of our customer base. We have, um, we have customers in New Zealand. I don't think I have any of my Canadian customers on here. We have customers in Canada. We understand the tax issues that customers face around in their jurisdictions. We handle multiple currencies. And I wanted to just make sure that I address those for you because I understand from Judy that some of her customers are, many of your customer, her customers are around the world and we can help with that as well. In, in, uh, we also have a French language version. So how are we different? Well, we're more economical to own. We don't charge any overconsumption fees. Some of our some of our um, competitors do. We are very. What we did was, is we looked at the market when we opened the company, and we decided that we wanted to fit into an economical solution for the small to medium business market, and that's where it is that we play. We know that one size doesn't fit all. You don't buy software and adapt your entire procedures and processes to what it is that the, that the software wants. Rather. We want our software to be configurable to your work needs, your workflows. We have made it a point to integrate into the various ERPs. In particular, we're talking about GP today, but we also support NAV, SL, and uh, BC. Uh, we integrate to other partners. We have uh, ISVs, I should say. We've made it a point to make our customers have to search as little as possible for their solutions and binary stream mem, payroll systems and solver, we integrate with those. So that would be, that's always very helpful to our customers. Training, uh, our training is not generic. We make a point to say that. We create our training with your system using your data. We record it 
so that if you have train over, turn over, you can do the training. Uh, it's provided for all users, travelers, managers, and admins. And online, we have an extensive FAQ. We used to put out manuals, but we found that an extensive FAQ is far more satisfying and we can keep it updated that much more easily. Uh, our support is very highly recommended and you, you can look at GetApp or Software Advice and find out that information as well. This is a happy customer who uh, was happy with our support. So who does need expense management? There's actually three stakeholders. The first is finance. And what finance wants is to know is where's the money going? When's it going? How's it going? Is it all getting connected into the accounting system? And they want to make sure that they've reimbursed employees quickly because that becomes a real issue if that's slow, the dissatisfaction, no company wants that. Sales and management, those two teams are interested in accountability. They want accuracy on the reports. The expense report should be accurate. It should take in, it should take into account the various rules and regulations of the company, the policies. For instance, you know, a maximum amount of money you can spend on lunch, that sort of thing. Compliance and audit. We had a customer come to us who had an audit of their expense, manage their expenses, and everything was in paper. It drove them crazy. So that's one of the reasons that they came to us is because we have a very full functioning audit capability and we have a lot of analytics and reporting that we put into the product. And you'll get a chance to hear about those when Mahesh comes online. And finally, accounting. This is where it all ends up. Accounting doesn't want any errors. They want it all to be smooth. They want everything to be um, integrated into the accounting system, into the right area of the accounting system. And we do all of that with our um, integration module, and you'll get a chance to see that as well. So having said all of that, uh, it's now time for me to turn the microphone and the solution over to my colleague Mahesh, who will jump in and talk a little bit about just an overview of the solution, how it works overall, and you can see that, and then the application demo. So thank you very much. Judy, it looks to me like you're going to switch that over to Mahesh. There you go. Mahesh, take it away. I'm going to go on mute. I will be right here. Uh, okay, so thank you, Kathleen. I just shared my screen and I hope all of you can see it. Okay, so with that, um, hello everyone. So I'm going to start, uh, you know, uh, discussing about our solution overview first, you know, uh, about this slide, which talks about how really our solution looks like on a piece of paper. So within the dotted box uh, is the Gorilla Expense solution. So you can submit your expenses through web. We support multiple web browsers. You can do expenses both on Android as well as iOS. Uh, we can also pull in corporate credit card data into the application. We work with Amex, MasterCard, and Visa. And finally, we also have an email feature. So if you have an email in your inbox, which is a receipt, for example, certain merchants like you know Expedia or Hotels.com, they send you an email once you do the booking with them. So ideally, if you're not on a solution, you'll print that email and attach that paper to an expense report. But in our case, you just have to forward that email uh, into specific, I mean, into Gorilla Expense environment, that is receipts at gorillaexpense.com, and the application will create that transaction for you. So application will convert the body of the email into PDF and keep it in the receipt box section of the application for users to attach that PDF as a receipt and they can complete the transaction there and there itself. So these email expenses and the corporate credit card expenses are also available on the mobile application. So using the Gorilla Expense mobile app, you can submit the entire expense report from the phone without having to get in front of the computer. Well, users can also submit their expenses from the web. It's user preference. And then we do have e-alerts, you know, what happens once users submit the expense report, it goes to the manager. At the same time, manager will receive an email saying, hey, the employee has submitted an expense. So whether he approves or rejects the expense, the similar kind of information will be sent back to employee about the approval or rejection of the expense report. Uh, we do have approvals workflow. Uh, which can be set up in the system as well, you know, so you can have multiple levels of approvals for specific expense reports, uh, you know, maybe manager one, manager two, by the time it reaches the accounting team. 
There's also policy model which you can set receipts and amount based policies for different expense types that can also be configured in the system. Then you can also route an expense report to other managers in the system as well. Uh, we also call it as delegation feature. There's also reporting and analytics model to size and dice TND data with uh, where you can go and query in all the expense reports, all the expense data, and you can download PDFs with all the expense reports data with all the receipts available there and there itself. Then we can also integrate with third party systems like payroll. And once all the expense data is compiled, assembled, and approved at multiple levels, then using the Gorilla Expense proprietary integration application, we can post all of that data into the accounting system. So today we are going to see uh, integration into Dynamics Great Plains. So that's typically how our solution looks like. So let's jump into the application demo. And I'm gonna start with mobile demo first. So just give me a second. Let me pull my iPhone screen up. So this is how the application looks on my phone. Uh, this is the home page once you log into the application. And the first one that you see on the screen is reports uh, under which you create report. Then comes expenses under which you create all single line item expenses. Then we have receipt box. So receipt box is a better way to store and manage your receipts in Google expense. So this feature allows you to keep all your receipts in one place and you can sync them across all the devices. So it's just like having a Dropbox application within the Google Expense. And this is where you can store all your receipts before attaching it to an expense line. So what happens, you know, if you have a receipt in front of you, take a picture of it, and it typically gets stored in your photo gallery or a camera roll. Sometimes your photo gallery becomes clutter, you know, because you have your other personal photos going in there as well. So it becomes very difficult for the user to go back and forth and find that particular receipt in your photo gallery. Instead of that, you can have all your receipts in the receipt box. And of course, you can find them easily. Also, if you notice, thumbnails in the receipt box are quite big enough as compared to your photo gallery. So just by looking at the receipt, user can make out who the vendor is, what the amount is, and what the date is. Also in the receipt box, we provide receipt scan which is the add-on service that we provide, which utilizes OCR, which is optical character recognition. So if you have a receipt in front of you, take a picture of it, application will scan the receipt, it will extract data from the receipt, and it will complete that transaction for the user. So I'm gonna show you in a moment how the OCR works once we start creating few expenses, but just wanted to give in brief about functionality of the receipt box. Our customers love this feature. Next is timesheets. Well, that's another product of ours. So if you don't have it, you know, you won't see it there. I mean, we, we will disable that for you. Next is approvals. Approvals is the section for managers. If they want to approve or reject expense reports on the go, then they can do so by going into approval section. And finally, we have settings where users can set preferences. So let's click on expenses tab first. And when I do that, uh, this is the screen I get into. Right at the bottom, you see there are two tiny icons. First one is mobile, second one is bank. So the mobile tab where I'll do all my out-of-pocket expenses, where any payment or any expenses that has been done using cash or personal card, which is not a corporate card, then it has to be created under the mobile section. Jumping onto bank tab, so bank has all my corporate credit card expenses. Now this is a section where all the credit card data will show up. As you can see, I have my Amex data here, but this is how the corporate credit card transactions looks like. So let's go back on the home page and start creating few expenses. So first expense I'm gonna create using OCR, uh, which is in the receipt box. So let's click on receipt box, click on options right in the top. Then it gives me option to add receipt or delete receipt. So I'm gonna click on add receipt. And it's gonna give me further options like camera, photo gallery. So I'm gonna click on camera and I have a receipt in front of me. Just give me a second. And I'll say use photo. Now the receipt is getting scanned. Uh, it takes few seconds to scan, sometimes a minute. 
uh, depending upon the speed of the internet and the quality of the receipt. But the way it works is, you know, I can take a picture of a receipt that is there in front of me. I'll upload this receipt, application will scan the receipt and it will extract data from the receipt and it will complete that transaction for me. It may not be entirely complete, you know, I might have to pick the expense type or make any fixes if needed, but the most part it will show as task complete. So the same receipt scan before. So let's check the status. And at the bottom, if you notice, it says scan successful. And it has picked up all the information from the receipt, like date, the amount, as well as the vendor. Now, all I have to do is that click on options right on the top. And it asks me, would you like to attach it to new expense or existing expense? So let's say attach it to new expense. And then on this transaction page, you know, if you notice, it has picked up all the information from the receipt. As you can see, it has picked up the date, the amount, as well as vendor. All I have to do is that pick the expense type here. So I'm going to click on expense type. So this was the meals expense, so I'm going to pick expense type as meals. But again, this is completely configurable based on your requirement, you know, whatever expense types that you have. And it will be tied to the back end to your GL. There are a couple of cost categories which are enabled at the user profile, like department and customer. So I'm from the sales department, so I'm going to pick up sales. But again, this is completely configurable based on your requirement, you know, whatever departments that you have. And you can also make it as default to the user profile, you know, so they don't have to pick it up every time they create transactions. And so as the customer, this is also completely configurable based on your requirement. Project, project tasks, you know, it could be job, job tasks, depending upon your requirement. Country, state and city, all of this, you can make it as default as well. And at the bottom, if you notice, we have comments and other comment section. If you have any description or notes regarding this particular transaction, uh, you have option to do that as well. So this transaction looks good. We have receipt which is attached as well. So let's go ahead and save it right on the top and upload this. So we have uploaded this transaction. So let's go back on the home page and click on expenses tab where we will see this particular transaction under the mobile section uh, because this was the out of pocket expense. So right here, we can see this meals transaction which we just created. So let's create one more uh, expense here. And this time we will not use OCR. So let's create it manually. So right in the top, you see options, click on options, click on create expense. And let me just change the date. Just for example, I'm doing all the expenses from October 2019. And in the expense type, let's pick up a different expense type this time. So I'm going to pick something like mileage. Now, as soon as I pick expense type as mileage, you know, if you notice the page has changed to show me the number of miles field, as well as the rate per mile has been populated in there, which is 0.58 as per IRS. So let's click on number of miles field. So now here, either I can enter the distance travel manually or I can take the help of Google Maps to do the math for me. And to do that, I'm gonna click on calculate miles. And then I just have to choose the origin point as well as destination. So just for example, I'm going to pick something like Duluth to Atlanta. As you can see, it has given me the approximate miles. I can also add the additional destination by clicking on the plus button right here as it supports multi destination as well. Let's keep it simple, delete to Atlanta, save it. Uh, on the transaction page, if you notice, it has given me the converted amount. At the bottom in the comment section, if you notice, it has picked up start and end addresses as for reference purposes. And we also have receipt, which is attached. So receipt in this case is just gonna be the snapshot of the map. 
so this transaction looks good as well so let's go ahead and save it and upload it so we have created two different expenses under the out-of-pocket section which is mobile so let's jump into the bank tab and complete one there as i mentioned under the bank section all the transactions that you want to see uh, that come from the corporate credit card statement so you know you, you just have to edit any of these transactions and you know just fill in a few information and complete it so as you can see on the transaction page the data has come from the corporate credit card statement so the fields like the date the amount the merchant name the payment method which is amex in this case and the country state and cities so all of this has come from the corporate credit card statement so these fields will be grayed out on the user profile you know they won't be able to do any changes to these fields but the fields like department and customer we can choose or you know you can also make it as default to the user profiles apart from that our application will map specific columns from the statement to the respective fields within the application so if there is any additional data supplied by the credit card company or the statement in the comments field as you can see it has mentioned parking fees now based on this data the application can be configured to read that and it will pre-select the most relevant expense type for the user as you can see it has picked up fees but user can still go ahead and change the expense type if he wants to or if there is needs to be but the most part it will show as task complete now the only thing missing here is the receipt as you can see right on the top left hand side there is a camera icon but if you want to attach a receipt uh, you know there are multiple options through which you can attach a receipt as well you just have to click on the camera icon and you have these many options through which you can attach a receipt as well now apart from this uh, there is a, a automatic automatic way to uh, receipts get attached to particular transactions uh, which is you know if you have opted for our ocr model which is a receipt scan and if you are storing all your receipts in the receipt box then what happens is that as soon as the transactions starts flowing into the bank section from the corporate credit card statement the application will start looking out for those receipts in the receipt box and those receipts will automatically get attached to the respective transactions as well so so even that process is automated so in that case users even don't have to attach a receipt so that's another option as well well so let's not attach a new seat for this particular transaction you know i just want to show you what happens if a transaction don't have a receipt is it gonna give us a red flag yes of course that we will see so let's go ahead and save this transaction and upload well so we have created three different expenses so far and we have uploaded them as well now we are going to add them to an expense report but the process of upload in the way we saw it always encourages travelers to complete their expenses as and when they incur and not to wait till the end so so if you are working at a starbucks with a receipt that you pay out of pocket you can just quickly take a picture of it code the expense type and you can upload it then and there itself so you don't have to stuck that receipt in your pocket or lose it somewhere or forget it somewhere you know it can just be done immediately well so let's click on reports tab now and create a report so click on create report and then i just have to fill in a few information like your name to this report so i'm going to say something like then i have to pick up a report type so i'm going to pick corporate but if you are billing back to a project or customer you have option to choose as well and then I just have to pick the start date and end date. So let's say October 1st as the start and October 31st as the end date. So let's save it. So let's open the one that we just saved. So we have created a skeleton report to which now we will add all the transactions that we just uploaded and to do that there's a button at the bottom right hand side that says add expenses then click on add existing expenses and then by default it takes me to the mobile section first 
from where I'll pick meals and mileage, and from the bank, I have fees. So let's add it. Now all the three expenses are showing up here and it shows the date, the source of the expense, the type of an expense and the amount. And at the bottom, it will give you a breakdown. Sorry, uh, what the total was, what is not reimbursable as it will pay to the corporate credit card, which is a max. And what is reimbursable back to the employee, which is total reimbursable. At the bottom left hand side, there's another button that says validate to submit. You must click on it to make sure that all expenses are valid. And then, then only it presents you with the submit button. So let's go ahead and submit this report. So now this particular report will be submitted to my manager. So my manager name is Sam. So Sam will receive an email saying, hey, she has submitted an expense report for so-and-so trip and so-and-so date. And the report number is GE3062. So every report that gets submitted carries along with a unique report confirmation number. And the email that manager receives, it will also going to have an URL in it for him to click on it and take action. But from traveler standpoint, his work is done. So in a few clicks, we have submitted the entire expense report from the phone without having to get in front of a computer. Now, another point with the mobile application is that it also operates in offline mode. So, so if you're sitting on a plane and you've got five receipts in front of you and you don't have Wi-Fi or any connectivity as such, you can still open up the application, take pictures of the receipts, and you can complete those expenses manually and you can keep them ready to be uploaded. So it's very simple, very quick to operate, and you can complete expenses even in offline mode where you can just code the expenses, take pictures of the receipts. So that's another option as well. Okay, so let's move to the next section where we are going to approve this expense report as Sam, who's the approving manager, and that we are going to do from the web application, you know, so that we can also take a look at how our web application looks like. So just give me a second. Uh, so this is how our application looks on the web. This is the login page. And as I said, I'm gonna log in as Sam, who's the approving manager. So let's sign in. Now purpose is to see how it looks like in front of the manager's dashboard. Give me a second. And this is how it typically looks like when an employee or manager logs in. So it says, hello, Sam. And then Sam will be presented with the dashboard. The expense report sections are broken into two subsections where one, uh, Sam is working on, but there is none right now. And then below expense report submitted to Sam for approval by his employees, as you can see, the first one, which we just submitted 3062. So let's open that up and review. So right on the top, there is approvals workflow. As you can see, it says submitted to manager Sam Robinson, but not approved yet. Then exactly below that, there is a heads up to manager saying that this report has potential duplicates. Uh, that means, you know, if the same receipt is attached multiple times by the user, then our application will flag it as potential duplicates so that manager can uh, review that and take necessary action. If I scroll further down, there are a couple of tabs like green and red. So of course, manager can approve an expense report he can reject. He can also provide review comments. Towards the right-hand side, you can see there's a redirect expense report feature. So you can redirect this expense report to other managers in the system as well. Exactly below that, there's a PDF preview feature. Uh, which actually generates a very handy PDF document. Uh, which has a summary table, as you can see here. 
followed by subsequent pages that will have receipts with them. So every page will have a single receipt of that respective line item along with date and expense type mentioned on it. Our customers like this feature because it also serves as a very convenient backup option for them. So very handy PDF document. If I scroll further down, there's an audit trail feature as well, uh, which gives the user a running summary, you know, uh, what's been going on with these expense reports along with date and timestamp. So it captures all the changes made to an expense report, like it shows when I submitted the expense report, when my manager approved it, when the accounting approved it, everything. So it will have all those information and this is very compliance and audit centric. So you can also download it as Excel PDF as well as Word document. So let's scroll further down under the transaction section. So first column, as you can see, uh, it is a violation column. So you will see all different kind of flags here like it shows potential duplicates. Now, if you click on this flag, you know, it will open up all the previous um, instances when it shows the same receipt was attached. So basically, you can open up this receipt, open up the previous one and just, you know, just compare both receipts are just the same or not and then take necessary action. Uh, now, if there is a policy violation, you know, if somebody has crossed or exceeded the policy limit, those flags will also show up under the violation column. Third column is receipt column. So under the receipt column, you will see receipt link. You just have to click on the receipt link to view that particular receipt. And you know, you can review that. Also, all the information regarding that transaction showing towards the left hand side. You can click on the next arrow to see the next receipt. and review all the data, all the information there and there itself. Now, remember for the bank transaction, we did not attach any receipt. Now that's where it's giving me a flag. There's no receipt attached to it in the red. Now, before I approve this expense report as a manager, you know, uh, I know that there are a few violations, potential duplicates for other transactions. There is no receipt attached to it. Now, before I approve this expense report, if I want to do any editing, I can do that as well by going into edit report feature, which gives me an access to additional action items. So now under the action column, if you can see there's a delete button or remove button. So you can remove particular transaction from this report if you want to. There's an edit button, so you can edit anything that you want to, you know, before you approve this. There's a copy feature. So with the click of a button, uh, you can copy and repeat the transaction as well. Then we do have split features. So, you know, with the split feature, you can split the expenses between uh, two department itself, uh, amount wise or percentage wise. So let's click on back button. I'm not going to do any editing. So let's approve this expense report as it is. And click on approve. Now, approval's workflow has turned green. You know, it's all levels approved. I only have one level approval here. So it shows manager approved. And the status of this report is also showing me as manager approved. So now that this report is approved, will bring us to the final step of the process, which is now sending this report to Dynamics Great Plans using the Gorilla Expense proprietary integration application, which is hosted on a remote server. So let me log in there. Just give me a second. And open up Google Expense Integration application. Now this is the Google Expense Integration application and I'm gonna log into this application as admin. An admin will typically be accounting, finance, or IP. So this application is not accessible to employee or department or manager because this is completely an accounting and IP function. And once I log into this application, all I have to do is that click on file. 
click on export expenses and it is going to give me a list of expense reports and all of those are going to be manager approved reports so only manager approved reports will be pushed into the Gola expense integration application as you can see all of these reports are manager approved so let's scroll all the way down uh, to the bottom and click on the one uh, which we just got approved and change the status to ap approved and click on the button that says send to gp and update the status now process wise at the end of the week end of the two week or end of the month as the ap manager you can come to this page you can select all of these reports and with the click of a button we can send everything to gp so you don't have to manually key anything into gp it just eliminates a lot of time you spend keying in the data into great planes now another option we provide with the integration application is that we also have the auto export or auto send where we can schedule the integration application to automatically push all major approved reports into gp at a scheduled time and a day so if you think friday at 4 pm you know you want to push all major approved reports into gp then you don't have to come in here and push this button so that's an additional option as well so now this particular report has turned green that means we have successfully posted all the data uh, into the grid plans so let's log into gp and you know uh, make sure that you know we have created i mean we have posted everything correctly so i logged into gp under the purchasing i'm going to click on transaction entry Click on the voucher number and let me scroll down all the way to the bottom. Now, if you notice last two lines, you know, it has created two uh, different invoices, uh, one for the corporate credit card, which is Amex, and one for the employee. So 3062-0, it has a different vendor ID, which is 20,000, and 3062-1, uh, it has a different vendor ID, which is 70,000. So this is for the 3062-0. Uh, you can see when red is 20,000, that's for the MX. Click on the distribution. As you can see, the line it has one line for the corporate credit card expense, which is fees. So created to the desired account, I mean posted to the desired account. And let's open this one, which is 3062-1 which is for the employee uh, which has two lines on it so all the lines we have created posted to the desired account uh, that's the integration part so it has you know we have seen it has automatically picked my vendor number and for the corporate credit card expense it has picked the different vendor number so the next step within gp would be to post this patch and it will create the payment line to pay the respective vendors and it will post as expenses in the general ledger now, if I come back to the integration application, you are still seeing this particular report here. But at the bottom of the page, there is a button uh, that says reload. If you hit that, you know, now this particular expense report will be disappeared from this list because we have sent this through successfully. So that, you know, you won't see it here again. Just give me a second. So it has been disappeared. Now, if you come back to the web application, the status of this report is still showing me as manager approved. Now, if we refresh this page, now the status will change and it will show me as AP approved. So that's the integration part. Now, now all the features that you have seen on the mobile app, they are there on the web as well. Besides that, uh, I just quickly wanted to show you that we do have impersonate user feature as well, through which you can log into someone else's dashboard altogether. Of course, if you have an access to, so admin can give an access who can log into whose dashboard, you know, and all that. So I do have access to log into CV's dashboard. So I can say impersonate and with the click of a button, as you can see, I'm logged into CV's dashboard. So now I can take care of all CV's reports or so reports which are pending for approval and 
you know, I can take care of those. And with the click of a button, which is reward identity, uh, I can become Sam again. It says hello, Sam. So this is helpful for CFOs and CEOs, you know, who have got personal assistants to take care on behalf of them. Now, initially, I also mentioned that we do have analytics and reporting module to slice and dice DND data with. So under the analytics section, you can click on the reports module under which we provide can list of reports within the application. So around 45 to 50 reports are available for analytics. So under the standard reports, as you can see, we have reports by country, by employee, employee and AP approved status, report by expense type, by vendor, by payment method. Besides that, companies who have corporate credit card, we, we provide unsubmitted bank transactions report, uh, which makes it very easy to reconcile corporate credit card statement. So this report would tell AP manager what pending or missing corporate credit card transactions are. So instead of having to sit through 70 or 100 page credit card statement and the missing transactions, this report would tell you what the missing transactions are, who they belong to, which date they came in and what the amount was. Now, apart from that, we have aggregate spend reporting, reports with cost allocation details, expense policy violation reports, customer project related, business unit department related reports as well. Now, apart from this, we do have custom reporting as well, uh, which is the uh, which is the add-on, of course, uh, you know, under which you can create or you can customize your own reports, you know, if you want to. So, so that's the add-on. So I think that's pretty much from the all the features point of view, you know, including mobile, web, as well as integration into Dynamics Create Plans. So with that. Uh, I would like to conclude my presentation, and you know we can we can open up any uh, questions if you'd have. And I can I would like to give it back to Kathleen. Hope all of you have enjoyed this webinar, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. That was great. How amazing. Oh my gosh. I, I love it. I love it. Okay, this is Judy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my. How efficient. I like how the how you can just take a picture with your camera and it goes right in there into the camera or wherever you wish. And so it great job. Great job. Okay. I'm sorry, Kathleen, go ahead. <laughs> this is great. No, I, you can interrupt Thank me you. anytime with that kind of enthusiasm. So thank you. Um, uh, we are complete. You can see my thank you screen. And if there's any questions, Judy, that you've thought about or might have come up that you want to ask, uh, go ahead and go for it. And then we can complete. Or if you don't have any, we will complete. You know, I, I think you touched on this earlier, but I know that it is one of the concerns is as a lot of our GP staff or customers are thinking and being encouraged to go to Business Central. Now, as they're making that move from GP to, to Business Central, does this work with, with uh, Business Central and the dimensions and all of that as well? It does. It does. Yeah. We actually have... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Mahesh. <laughs> no, no. Kathleen, go ahead. I mean, I was just going to say short answer is yes. <laughs> Short answer is yes, we also have a demo of that on our website under the videos tab. Okay, and, um, super. Okay, that's wonderful. And I liked how you touched, because we do have customers in Australia and, and all, all over um, North America. And so the solution does work with multi-currency and multi-company, is that correct? It does. And not only that, we can handle the tax issues for Canada and tax issues around, you know, VAT around okay. what in the in the regions and municipalities and governmental rules and regulations where we have a presence around the world. And um, yeah, we're very used to doing that. So we have those two capabilities. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I want to thank you so much for a, a great presentation and I'm very excited about using your tool. I've used so many expense reports over the, you know, the the career that I've had and this is would made my life so much simpler. I wish it would have been here the last 20 some years. I love it. I love it. So thank you. Thank you so much for 
creating a great tool like this and we look forward to seeing you at GPUC in November. It is the week of November 15th through the 19th so we encourage everybody to come and and uh, join us virtually or on site in Fargo, North Dakota. Thank you and have a great day.